You guys, I think it's so important that we understand who we are. And that's why tonight we're going to be talking about the color personality, because, you know, a lot of times we come into a space like this, we come into a business like this, and we are saying things like, well, why isn't this business working? Drop a me if you've ever said that. Why is it not working for me? Why is it working for everybody else? Why am I the only one that it's not working for? Why am I the only one that can't sign distributors? Why am I the only one who people like no one in my network has money? Okay, drop me if we've all heard that. And um, and I think we all, we grow in layers and we grow in levels. So tonight we are gonna be talking about the color personality. I would definitely recommend that you get a pen, you get a piece of paper that you wanna lean in and take notes. And before we do get started, I think it's really important to just note um, that there's not one one color personality that's better than the other. Go ahead and drop a yes in the chat. If you've ever seen someone in our tribe have a personality that you just wish you had that like, it's just not who you are. Um, I can just tell you from, in fact, you know what, instead of dropping a yes, drop the color that you wish you were or that you had a little bit of. One of the things that can just get me in a chokehold, I'm talking like boohoo's not crying, is the fact that I'm not a green. I am negative 37% green. I respect greens. Um, I'm married to one and one of my best friends is green. And many of you who are greens have taught me things, but I often wish that I could look down into the details. I often wish that I could just be organized. I often wish that I had the capacity to teach. I feel like you guys are like the teachers, you know? And, um, and I know you might think that's really crazy because you're like, okay, Ashley may feel like you teach all the time, but no, I don't do it. Like I watch when Brie teaches and I don't do it like she does. And, and sometimes I have to be mindful. Like I love that. And I honor that in other people, but I'm like, man, I wish I had that. And so just know that, um, I think one of the things that I love about our business as well, specifically our tribe is being able to understand other people. That's when my leadership shifted. When I first joined, I expected everybody to be who I was and to want it like I want it. Drop a yes if you've ever done that, okay? Why can't they just want it like I want it? Why can't they just do what I'm telling them to do? Uh, and then I realized everybody's different. And so one thing I've been able to identify about my personality over the last few years is that I learn in patterns. And once I can find the pattern in something, it's literally game over. And um, so as I go into this, just know that there is not one color personality that is better than the rest. Uh, we actually have diamond and above in our tribe, someone that is dominant in every single color. I think that's what makes our tribe unique. Um, the Bible uh, even says, you know, body parts are very unique. There's a reason my ear can't taste. There's a reason my toe can't smell. Praise the Lord. But it's when you put all the pieces together that it is the total package. So I just want to speak that over you real quick as I go through this. This is not to condemn you in any way. This is not to make you feel bad about what you're not. I often think that a lot of people use their personality type is a crutch. Well, I I'm just not organized. You know, I'm a blue. No, ma'am, we don't do that. Oh, well, I'm just, you know, I'm very direct and aggressive. I'm just a red. No, we don't play that game. We play the growth game. Okay. And so um, once you define it, you can defeat it. And so, but just know you don't need to be the total package because when we all, when we understand our gift and we have self-awareness and we develop ourselves and we all come together sitting at the table in confidence about who Jesus has made us to be who God has called us to be. That is when we are powerful. So jumping in, it's so important that you do know your top two colors. So if you know your top two colors, drop those in the chat real quick. I'm a red blue. Okay. And, um, I love being a red blue. And if you red blue, baby, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We just love ourselves. Okay. <laughs> And uh, just to show you, I am unbiased. I actually think yellows are one of the most powerful colors, even though I'm not a yellow, okay? Um, but go ahead and drop what color you are and we are gonna dive in. I'm gonna try to move through this as efficiently and effectively as possible. So when it comes to leading the people, I think that you first wanna understand the first person that you lead is yourself. Um, sales and leadership are the two skills that will make you the most profitable in this world. A lot of you are really good at sales. You're really good at enrolling and recruiting, but you might not be good at leadership. And so understanding other people's personalities are going to help you with leadership because communication really is about the receiver. And so, um, it's one thing to make yourself a lot of money, but how many of you want to 10 X your business drop a two in the chat? You want to 10 X your income. Okay. You don't just want to be you making money. You want your team to help you cross finish lines too. You've got to develop your leadership. Uh, leadership is phenomenal and it's hard. You know, one of the greatest things about leadership is you're dealing with people. And one of the hardest things about learning about leadership is you learn at the expense of people. Um, 
uh, gagged on effective. Does that say gagged? Leadership is gagged on effectiveness. I don't think that's what I meant. I think it's gauged. However, um, uh, I can tell you that the reason I'm at where I'm at, it's because I made a lot of mistakes with people and um, some mistakes I wish I could go, some mistakes I learned, so I don't, but some mistakes I do wish I could go back and change. And so um, leadership, here's also something that I want to note before we dive in. Uh, I'm the type of person I would rather people say I was too much than too little. So all of my overthinkers, just remember that. I would rather someone join me and say, man, Ashley Mayfield, I don't wanna be under her anymore. I hate MLM. Um, she pushed me too much. She cared too much. She was in my chat every day. She was always challenging me. She was bossy. I would rather people say that than say, well, I joined Ashley Mayfield and I never heard from her again. Now, have people said that? I'm sure I've had people fall through the cracks, just like everybody. I'm human. But I would rather err on the side of doing too much. I think that as a leader, we also have to be proactive daily. Daily, we have to be proactive. Make sure that you get in those chats, because the higher up you go, the harder it is. It's impossible for me to get in everybody's chats. I've got over a thousand active people underneath me. Like it's, It would be impossible, right? And so as we develop in leadership, it's important that as a leader, I'm developing leaders, right? And the way that you, in, the way that you lead people best is investing time in them. Now, someone who's high maintenance, low producing, I'm probably not going to invest a lot of time into you until you become high maintenance, high producing, right? And if you're confused on that, go back and watch Meredith zoom from last month it was a very life-changing zoom for me but let's dive in real quick just a little overview if you're not familiar with the colors again i'm going to reiterate there's not one color that's better than the other um reds were driven uh red is a very internal color we're driven internally we're driven by st title status power if you're a red go ahead and drop the word red in the chat um we like to be in power we like to be controlled uh, or in control excuse me uh blues are like the life of the party so reds are very goal oriented result oriented blues are very people oriented they wear their heart on their sleeves blues were we're, we're full of charisma. Uh, we have good energy. We're we're driven by connectedness. We like to connect with people. Yellows are service oriented. Yellows are those worker bees behind the scenes that make everything happen. That don't like being at center stage. They're the hostess with the mostess. Okay. Uh, yellow would give you the shirt off of their back. And um, yellow is the chameleon color. So if at any moment anyone ever tells you I'm all the colors, no, you're a yellow babe. <laughs> so uh, yellow can walk into any room and adapt to the room. It's one of their superpowers, but often yellows, when they lay their head down at night, they don't know who they are and what they want because they're so busy um, serving other people. They have a really big heart. And then greens, we love our greens, uh, our, our strong, our loyal, our data-driven, our, you know, that black caution hat. You need someone at the table that's going to say, hey, that's a great plan, but how the freak is that going to happen, right? Where are my greens at? Greens are very meticulous. They're very data-driven. They're OC. CD, uh, you have a planner for a planner for a planner, very analytical mindset, okay? So let's kind of break these down and um, talk about uh, strengths and opportunities. What are the blind spots? So first for a red personality, if you are a red or you are leading a red, you need to know that some of their strengths are they are going to take action. Where are my reds at? Okay. We just going to take action. We're not going to wait for your five point plan, babe. We're already messaging people before we even got in the tribe group. Okay. Like you going to have to slow us down because we are just like that bull in the China shop. We just want to take action. We like movement. We're very uh, full of courage and zeal. We're very passionate about what we do. We are the people who will get the job done at the end of the day, because at the end of the day, the bills need to be paid. So we are the ones that are having babies on our phones. We are the ones that had a car accident that show up to the meeting. Like we will do whatever it takes because the job has to get done and we're not afraid of hard work. Um, we often see in a bird's eye view and that really sets us up for success where there are certain colors that see one, two, three, four, five. As a red, one of our superpowers is we see five, four, three, two, one. And I don't think that I did say this, so let me back up. There's always that one person that's like, well, I'm a red, but that's not me. Okay, just there, there's a sliding scale about all this stuff, okay? So like reds really like money. I'm uh, just like greens do. I'm not driven by money. 
So what actually drives me is more of my blue, even though my red is more dominant. So just understand that there's a sliding scale. Just because I say one thing, I'm saying the pattern and like the average red is this way, but you could be high functioning, you could be low functioning. So what are some of the blind spots of maybe a low functioning red? Well, they're very aggressive and bulldoze. How many of you guys know that like you ever worked for someone that was really demanding, that was really rude, that bulldoze, that just like didn't give a crap about you. They just cared about the finish line and then they they took all the credit. <laughs> Anybody had worked for someone like that? Okay. I'm not saying in this tribe, I'm talking about like in corporate America. Okay. And so, uh, reds, we will bulldoze over people. We will care about the group more than the person. I heard this quote, my husband's a Trekkie and I heard this quote, um, Spock sacrificed himself in one of the movies and Captain Kirk was like, you know, Spock's like dying behind this glass, breathing in this toxic air. And Captain Kirk's like, why did you do that? And Spock said the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few or the one. And um, and that's how reds, that's how we see we will sacrifice the one person. All my yellows are like cringing on the inside because they will save the one person instead of the group. <laughs> but like reds, we will save the whole instead of the one. And sometimes that comes very aggressively or we can bulldoze over people. Uh, reds, we're also pretty stubborn. Where are all my stubborn people at? Um, I do believe that stubbornness is an asset. However, um, sometimes a low functioning red can come in and think my way is the highway. And I kind of want to look at them and be like, Heffa, I've been here seven years and I'm a red. And listen, we gonna have the best of the best all the time, every time. But you're right, you come in day one and you think you know more than me. Cool, take a seat, babe, okay? And so like, you gotta make sure you use your stubbornness in the right way. A lot of people get stubborn about the method in which they do something instead of stubborn about the goal. Be so stubborn about making $1,000 a month that you're willing to do whatever it takes to get there, okay? And then reds, a blind spot is we can be pretty controlling. Like you can't do that without me. You need to wait for me, do it my way, how I said, because I said, um, and it's just not going to grow your leadership very well. Uh, I tried that. It didn't really work out very well for me. In fact, I tried it and I attracted a ton of reds and then it was, it was bad. So, uh, just be mindful that these can be your blind spots. So if you're leading a red, how can you best serve them? I think one of the best ways that you can serve a red personality. And if you're a red, I'd love to hear from you in the chat. Um, remind us that it's okay to prioritize the person over the pursuit. And this really hit me hard about two years ago. Um, I got into, it was January of last year. It was actually right before or January, two years ago, I think it doesn't matter when it was, but, um, I, we were really in the house. Like you guys know, we've built our house now, but we were in like looking for the, the, the house. And, um, I was so frustrated and I was working really hard to try to get our savings account where it needed to be. And I just remember like the Lord speaking to me and like, what's it matter if you have the house, if like your family hates you, because me and my husband were fighting at the time, because he's like, you know, you don't prioritize me. Like you put me on the back burner. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I, everything I do is for you. Y'all you, ever had these conversations? Can we be real, real? And my husband was trying to tell me how he feels. And I wasn't listening because I was being stubborn. And, um, and then I wasn't really spending time with my kids. And because I was like, well, I've got to work. I've got to work. I've got to work. And, um, I had to realize that the people, are just as important as the finish line because if you cross the finish line but you're a douchebag <laughs> what's it matter right okay cool let's move on from reds because that makes me uncomfortable i'm just kidding so green personality where are my greens at hello i love you guys what are the strengths of a green you're so smart you're so pretty and smart you're so intellectual okay i just want to lick your little brain because y'all got a lot going on um they're they're incredible full of wisdom I, I i honor my husband he is just full of so much wisdom and um you know i love going to him for advice uh he's often going to give me unsolicited advice whether i want it or not but it's always it's so funny because he's always right my husband's like and greens are this way just in general right you guys can walk outside and say the sky is purple and you're like, oh, that's so dumb. This guy's not purple. And you walk outside and the sky's freaking purple. It's like, they're always right all the time. Okay. I think there's been like twice in 15 years of marriage. My husband has not been right. And I do like to shove that in his face, but it does not happen very much. Um, they're just always right because they're not like my husband said this one time. He's like, if I don't know something, I'm not going to guess. 
it's either going to be right or I don't know. And um, me, I'm, I'm a blue. I'm kind of dense. I'm just going to guess and lie and make it up. I don't know. Uh, but very intellectual. They value systems and order. So you need to know this about the greens underneath you, or maybe you are a green. You really value structure. So it's really important that you create that structure around yourself. That way you can feel confident in what it is that you're doing. Um, but it doesn't mean that you have to build the entire house before you start you know what i'm saying like you can build a foundation though and then they're very detail oriented i think that's one of the things i love most they're very meticulous um they get down in the mully grubs and um it's something that i really value uh where are my blues at blues and greens are opposite so i don't know if i said that either but you'll see reds and yellows are opposites greens and blues are opposite okay so everything a red is yes there's similarities between reds and yellows there's similarities between greens and blues but the most stuff they're pretty opposite and um so they're very detail oriented and although blues um can be very creative and they like details that way it actually really drains me so like i'm very much checked out if you're talking about things that are like on an intellectual level that i don't comprehend or that I don't even care about like deuces I'm out okay I don't like it so what are the blind spots of a green well they can be situationally absorbed what do I mean by that greens you see to the tip of your nose that means if if one person quits your business the whole thing is falling falling apart and you can't see beyond it like what your reality is you think that is the new way forever and so I've had to walk a lot of greens off the ledge because they were having a bad day and it's like whoa like you get to honor the progress that you've made even if you're not where you want to be but they're very where reds see the big bird's eye view greens see the step okay uh they can be very exhaustive I don't mean that they are exhausting. What I mean by exhaustive is that, you know, before a green takes action, they want to know the 17 and a half ways that something can go wrong because sometimes they're, they're um, driven by the worst case scenario. And so they're trying to eliminate all the things that can go wrong because they can be a little pessimistic sometimes, a little low functioning greens. Okay. We love yellow though. And so they're very exhaustive. So they try to find all the different ways something can work and know their options. They're very resourceful. However, that can really hinder them because then that creates too much thinking. And then they think they've actually taken action when all they did was think. Right. And we don't want to live the situation in our head and in reality. Why do it twice? Um, they're also unfulfilled by people. Where are my greens at? Okay. <laughs> y'all like, <laughs> y'all don't like people very much. I know, like my husband, I'd be telling him a story and he'd be like, Ashley, you know why they did that? It's because they're dumb and they make dumb decisions. And I'm like, oh my God, a person's a person, no matter how small, you're so mean. <laughs> And he'd be right though, okay. So, um, but it's okay. I think it's important that you understand that just because you're not fulfilled by people, it doesn't mean that you hate people. Everybody has different things that fill their cup. And I think one of the coolest things, um, you know, even like about my husband who people don't really get him going. It doesn't really fill his cup. My husband is such a loyal friend. He is a loyal friend. He will go above and beyond for the people that he does care about. And um, it, it, that's really cool to see. So you don't want to piss a green off. I'm going to tell you that right now. When you get to the point where you cross the line with them, it is game over and not game over in a red type of way because a red might be a little petty it's game over like a green could ruin your life because they're so smart okay so like you don't want to piss a green up um so how can you serve a green best well give them permission to be flexible and to make mistakes flexible and make mistakes because i love y'all greens but sometimes y'all got a little stick up the booty who wants to be honest and say that's you as a green you know stick up the booty okay <laughs> y'all don't like to be flexible um and, uh, and it's okay to make mistakes. You know, greens are a very um, perfectionistic mindset. They set a very high standard for themselves. Uh, they judge themselves. And so um, you're going to make mistakes. Mistakes are okay. It doesn't mean that you're a failure. So blue personalities, where about blues? <gasps> Okay, I'm like 30% blue. I'm like 60% red, but that 30% blue, y'all, petty buddy. Okay, she a little low functioning sometimes. So strengths, what are the strengths of blues? Energy. When people tell me my energy is on point, it is top tier. I just want to kiss your little toesies, okay? But blues usually have good energy because we're the people people, okay? And we are driven by connection. 
And uh, that's something really cool that I see in one of my, my daughters. She just wants to be around me. She wants to be around people. She wants to be in the living room. Like she values connection. It doesn't even have to be a competition. It doesn't have to be winning. It just wants to be connected with another human, right? And so we, we get our energy from people. If I'm feeling sad, and listen, this is what some of you blues need to identify. If you're working from home and you're feeling sad, you need to go out to the grocery store. You need to go walk around Walmart, okay? And just go say hi to people. And so, um, and be invested in your team, you know? Um, and so connection is really, really big. And blues tend to be very artistic and creative. And I think that's something you can absolutely implement here within our team, within the business, like creating story slides. If you get to the point where you're making like really good slides that look nice, that are like universal for the whole tribe, let's get them in the tribe stories. Like if you want to serve that way, every single one of you has a gift and we invite you to serve the tribe using your gift. Um, I had one of my Ruby leaders who, we did a one on one zoom a couple weeks ago and she said, um, I love doing a she's the second timer. She went to double diamond her first time. And she said, I love doing on Sunday nights, like content zooms where like, I would get my team on a zoom and we would just plan for an hour, we would play music, but we would plan our content together. And she said, Is that something I could do for the tribe? And I would like my heart leaped out of my chest. I was like, yes, because it activated my blue. I was like connection. And she's she's in leadership. She's someone I trust. Like she's checked all the boxes. Okay. If you're brand new and you want to host a Zoom, I'm probably we're not gonna roll that way because I'm also a red heifer. Okay. So you gotta check my boxes. Okay. But she checked that and I was like, oh my gosh, if you were to do that when the time is right for you and you can take on that task. That would be incredible. Like what a way to serve the tribe with your skill set and with her color personality. She's not a blue. Um, but anyways, but she's still creative. She's she's a green, so she still has that detail oriented. Anyways, and she's yellow. Um, so blind spots of a blue, we're hyper emotional. We wear our heart on our sleeve. Oh my gosh, this is something I've had to grow in so much. If you are a dominant blue, you need to read the book Emotional Intelligence 2.0. Don't ask me for the don't don't message me because you didn't write it down because you're a blue. Emotional Intelligence 2.0. Emotional Intelligence 2.0. It's a white book with orange writing. Don't message me and ask me for the title because you're a blue and you just not listening right now. Okay, I love you though. Um but we're very emotional and I had to learn how to develop my emotional intelligence. And that's something that um, I had to learn how to clap for other people. I had to learn how to not be jealous of other people. I had to learn how to not be driven by my emotions, but learn how to manage them effectively. And that has changed my life. That book changed my life. And even if you're not a blue, I would encourage you to do it. In fact, there was a year I gave all of our diamond leaders that book. Um, but if you're sp specifically, if you're a blue, it will change you. But every other color should do it too. Uh, blues tend to be very disorganized. That's not going to serve you very well, babe. Okay, we got to get organization. Very, very important. And then we're too urgent. We're chicken little. The sky is falling. Um, I will I will be very humble right now. If you've ever been under the wrath of Ashley Mayfield, drop a me in the chat. Or maybe I jumped the gun. I might have jumped down your throat a little too soon before I got the facts. And I had to apologize. I said, oh, I I, I digress. I apologize. I might have done it earlier in the chat when I said Angel was the only five and then I scrolled up. Okay, listen, we uh, my, it takes my brain a few minutes to catch up to my feet. Sometimes I speak before I think maybe 90% of the time, but I'm woman enough to apologize. So I apologize. <laughs> so, uh, so how can you best serve? Stop saying that I've done it to you. Now I'm going to get judged. I'm just kidding. Uh, so how can you best serve a blue? Teach them it's safe to have structure. Dominant blues do not like structure. They're like a caged animal. And that's how I used to feel. I used to feel like a caged dog because we just want to be a butterfly. We want to flow in the wind. We want to go where our feelings are. That, that does not change your life. If you only focus on what makes you happy, you will avoid growth. Growth is what changes your life. Change is what changes your life. And how many of you guys know change is uncomfortable? Drop an amen in the chat, okay? Change sucks, but it's the only proven thing. And so, um, blues, you need structure. You need cat. You need to bring your feet back down to reality because we be floating in la la land sometimes. All right, yellows. Where are my yellows at? Everyone, drop a yellow. If you're a yellow, I love you. I'm not a yellow, but I love you. Uh, strengths of the yellow is they value clear instructions. Uh, you know, us reds, we like to be bossy. 
and yellows like to be instructed. So it's just a beautiful combination. Um, yellows thrive and in person. Oh my gosh. Okay. You guys overthink everything, praise the Lord. And, but when you're in person, like, so if you have a yellow in your downline and they're local, like get together with them, get face to face, do zooms, uh, once a week with your yellows. Okay. They really thrive in person and like seeing things. They like to get things right. They do not like to make mistakes. They want very clear instructions and they will follow those instructions to a T as long as they're not being rebellious because yellows are just as stubborn as reds. Okay. So you don't know more than your leader. I promise you. <laughs> um, but yellows are very relationship driven. And so they're service oriented, they're relationship driven. What are the blind spots? Well, yellows can tend to lack initiation. Okay. Not all yellows, low functioning yellows. And so they're kind of like, they'll have that deer in the headlight look. So a tip that I like to do when leading yellows is you don't want to ask a dominant yellow, maybe like if they're like a green yellow, that's different than a yellow green. Okay. But a dominant yellow, I don't like to ask them a question. I like to ask them an either or question. For instance, Hey, have you done your projected chart or can we do it together? That is that tip has served me for over four years. Have you done this or can we do it together? Hey, do you think this or this? Because if you ask a yellow a straight on question, they're going to think and think and think and think and think and stress and think and worry and think and think and think. And then you're like, well, they opened up the chat and didn't respond. They freaking hate me. Or where are they at? Hello. Like us reds are like, um, you were just talking to me like all the time and now you went ghosted me. They're overthinking. And so sometimes yellows, they don't want to get the wrong answer. They want to, they, they don't want to fail expectations, but they can lack that initiation. And so yellows, that's something you have to grow in. You have to know it's okay to make mistakes and it doesn't mean you're a bad person. You didn't mess anything up and you're not a failure. Yellows, um, a blind spot for them is they do think that they're bugging. Or, sorry, everyone's like, oh, so uncomfortable. Uh, they feel like they're bugging or maybe like they are insignificant. Think about it, okay? Yellows like to serve. They like to be behind the scenes. So they kind of have that like Cinderella, I'm not important. I'm the bottom of the totem pole. You know, I'm to be seen and not heard. Don't speak unless spoken to type mindset. And yellows, you to me, in my unbiased opinion, because I'm not a yellow, you are one of the greatest color personalities there can be. I do think yellows are the total package. They just don't know how great they are. Because yellows, like for instance, if you're a teacher, you know how to walk in your classroom and make it fun. You can put a blue hat on. You know how to walk in and have authority. You can put a red hat on. You know how to be organized in structure and put a green hat on. Um, and, and like you're the total, you know how to, you're the chameleon color. You have a superpower that no other color has. But when you walk out of the classroom, sometimes you don't know who you are and what you want, right? You, because you're so busy taking care of everyone else. And so just realize that you're, give yourself permission to take up space. You're allowed to take up space. You're enough just as you are. And we just want to help you be the best version. Um, and yellows don't know how to say no. Oh my gosh. Y'all be saying yes to all the wrong things that don't lead you to your finish line. Okay. So we're going to work on that. So how can you best lead a yellow? How can you serve them? Constantly remind them it's okay to prioritize themselves. One of my favorite things with yellows to do, I will tell you, I probably am going to be 15 minutes over. I am going to get into some color combos, which gets really exciting. So if you have to hop off, I understand. Um, but hopefully you can stay on. I'll try to be as efficient as possible. Um, but yellows, one of my favorite things to do with yellows is to get them to start doing personal development. This is not to get them to do personal development before they take action. Heffa, we won't take action. Action, drop this in the chat. Action breeds confidence. Everybody drop that, drop that in the chat. Action breeds confidence. Action breeds confidence confidence. A lot of people think, well, I need to develop confidence first. I'm not confident to go Facebook live. I'm not confident to talk to people. I'm not. The only way you gain confidence is by doing the work, you get results or you learn, but you get results and then you're confident and you rinse and repeat. A book is not going to teach you confidence. A podcast is not going to teach you confidence. It might motivate you for the day, which is good. We need motivation. But what breeds confidence is the work. And the only place that confidence comes before work is in the dictionary, okay? And so you get to prioritize yourself. You get to say yes to you and you get to build a bomb, bomb business, okay? So let's talk about some color combos. Go ahead and drop your combo in the chat one more time. I'm a red blue. I wanna see what other combos there are on here. A yellow blue, a green yellow, a red. Green, yellow, yellow, green, red, yellow, yellow, red, love it. Blue, red, red, blue, 
red green do we have a green red on tonight i think that will be the last color combo if we have a green red okay blue yellow yellow blue love it okay all right all right so let's talk about these color combos okay because it really matters um out of all four colors you are your top two the third color you wear like a hat and then the third color you're typically not so for me I am a red blue through and through i'm like 60% red 30% blue I know how to wear that yellow hat when I need to and then um, I always joke i'm negative 37% green okay yeah yeah blue green and a green blue perfect I think we actually have all the color combos on here tonight this is incredible so let's talk about the red green green red combo okay no matter which order you are your order does matter a red green is different than a green red okay Okay. Um, but let's just talk about this color combo, whether it's, it doesn't matter which order it is. Green, red, red, greens are internally driven. These are two color combos that are focused on themselves. Um, reds love, or greens love to have a perfect plan and reds love perfect execution okay these are world changers if you are this color combo like you're a world changer um you are driven by growth driven by progress so greens and reds have a lot of similarities they like to win they like to have motion forward they like to make sure that there is growth there's progress they like to have tangible proof that something is happening okay um they're very decisive and they are very direct they do not mince their words where a yellow blue is going to tend to overthink and be a worry wart uh, a green red like they're going to be the person if you're a yellow there are a blue personality there uh, or a yellow blue love you guys um just kidding no, i'm just kidding i love you guys but a yellow blue is going to overthink and like a yellow blue would never say okay what happens if a yellow blue says okay it's with attitude right like you don't ever say one word answers okay um a green red that's how they communicate they're like okay but if you're sensitive you're like oh my god how do they mean that oh my god they hate me what did i do oh my now you're now you're in your head green reds it's one word answers i'd be telling my husband how much i love him and it'd be like okay love you too i'm like <laughs> my emotions <laughs> Okay, they're just very direct and they're decisive. Don't ask a green red what they want for eat, what they want to eat, unless you want to know what they want to eat. A lot of times, even in relationships, we ask people questions when we really want to give our answer. Well, if you around someone direct, they're going to be direct. And if you don't have the emotional maturity to handle that, you're going to think they're being rude. I think one of the greatest things that you could do is be direct and honest. I think it's respectful. Now, there is a way that you can do it. This is a color combo that is very sharp with their tongue. They can be very rude and they can say very mean things about people. And so that's something that they have to grow in as well. Um, but they're very decisive. And so you want people like this in your life. Um, so to help them, I think one way that you can help this color combo is help them to understand that not everybody is like them and help them to not get frustrated. There's usually like very little grace with this color combo because it's like, okay, I got a plan and I have to execute. So you're either on board or you're off, but the ship has to move forward. And so there's very little flexibility. There's very little grace. And I do think that sometimes it's like with this color combo, it's like my way or the highway. Right. And so it's like, it's because I said, so it's because it's my way. And, um, and so you have to be mindful of that. You have to be, this is a color combo that whenever they come in, they are going to be really strong executors and they might attract the opposite of them. People who don't take initiative, people who aren't structured and they could drive them a little crazy. Uh, and so you just have to remember that not everybody's like you. It's really, really hard. Okay. Um, but let's talk about the opposite. Where are my yellow, blue, blue, yellows at? Hey it's all about the people this is externally driven so we're green uh reds red greens only care about themselves praise the lord yellow blues only care about other people okay it's very relationship and heart driven yellows want to serve everybody else blues want to be the life of the party and make everybody feel good don't leave me out okay and so yellows highly sensitive blues uh very emotional okay so, but what I love about this color combo is they're very, blues are so joyful. 
you know, and you like, do y'all know that one person in your life that just like everybody loves them and they're so fun to be around and they're like the light and you're like, God, I love that person. Like they're just a hoot, you know, uh, and they might be a blue personality. I don't know. They might not be, but typically they are like, it's one of the things I just adore about Arlisha so much. She like Arlisha is just one of my ride or dies. Okay. Uh, we could be looking like, don't get me and Alicia, Arlisha in a serious situation and we're in the same room. Cause we'd be Jerry, we'd be looking outside of our eyes like Jerry from Tom and Jerry is game over. We can't, we can't even look at each other. We'd be snorting, boohoo, laughing, crying. Okay. Uh, but she's just so full of joy and it's something I admire about her. You can't be around Arlisha or in her presence without there just, you feel better about yourself and yellows just love to be yellows love relationships and they love to care about people and you need those people in your life one of my best friends is a dominant yellow and um her words matter and she's like we've got to connect on zoom and we've got to see each other and we've got it you know and it just it makes me feel so good because she prioritizes me you know and it, and it makes for a relationship and so if you have this color combo if you are this color combo or you have this in your downline I want to challenge you help them to get on a schedule and give them permission to prioritize themselves a lot of times yellows will say yes to everybody else in their life except their business and what's actually going to move their family forward and that's why you jumped into a business like this is so that you can add value to your family um yellows are the personality that want to give back to their kids they want to get back to their parents they want to get back to their community they want to do more and be more they want to make an impact but you're not going to do that unless you're on a schedule and yellows will typically say yes to every they'll their their neighbor that they don't even know their last name they're like can you take my cat to the vet a yellow's like yep i got it because you're fulfilled by doing things for people and if you're not if you're not on a schedule um you're gonna do everything for everybody else and you're gonna have a lot of regrets at the end of life and then blues only they like to float where their feelings are and so if you're not feeling good about your business or you feel like it's not working for you blues are the ones that will ghost you here today gone tomorrow because they're just want to be happy all the time and life isn't always happy and so when you develop discipline which is a key for this color combo is having discipline um it will change your life and so um if you don't have discipline you're going to be the person that's in the business for years and years and years and years and years and you never rank up and um i don't say that in a disrespectful way i say that in a way to hope activate you to be like hey I, it's time that i prioritize myself because i don't want to stay where i'm at so let's talk about i mean my favorite color combo <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's talk about red blues. Where are my red blues at or blue reds? We are very people oriented. Um, reds, we value leadership. We value making a difference or like leading a team, moving people forward, crossing finish lines. And then of course, blues were the life of the party. So we're very people oriented uh, when it comes to our personality. We do tend to operate with a level of urgency that can be very toxic if we're not careful. We can absolutely be the color combo of chicken little, the sky is falling. Like, oh my gosh, this has to happen right now or it's the end of the world. And like, it's really not the end of the world. We just need to take a deep breath, but we can be very dramatic. This is a very, this is a very self-focused color combo, it, like low functioning. And the reason I say that, because I know you're probably thinking, well, didn't you just say blue is a very external color? It is, but a low functioning blue, we don't like being judged by people. So like where like a green personality judges themselves, a blue personality is afraid everyone else is. I'll make a fool of myself in a room if it'll make you like me because I just want to be liked. We want to feel adequate. We want to feel enough. OK, and um, so sometimes our low functioning like, oh my God, it's the end of the world, 911. It's a massive deal. And, you know, I know every personality is like this where you can stay up for like days, but I literally will. I will lose sleep over conversations. I will be three days later in the shower thinking about what I could have, should have, would have said. And again, I know that's not privy to a certain color combo. I just know that I do that a lot. And I know that part of my blue personality can be very low functioning. You know, I've got to be very mindful of that. Um, but I also think that it's one of the greatest things about us because we operate with a level of urgency, like tomorrow's not promised. We got to get it done because we know that today matters because today counts towards tomorrow counts towards next week. So urgency can be a really good thing. I really do think that a red blue personality best needs help with discipline and structure. Um, a lot of times we're moving so fast. Our red wants to run 
and our blue wants to run in circles. And so like we're moving so fast, this color combo, and we're so excited and we're doing all the energy and we're getting nowhere if there's not structure. And so it, like this is the type of person that wants to message 100 people. And they're like, <laughs> and then you get blocked. And then you're like, oh my God. And then we're all dramatic, right? And it's like, I know us, the greens are like, you are so dumb. <laughs> God bless the greens, right? Like the blues are the ones that you hate. Okay. It's so I'm always like, oh, like the people my husband's making fun of. I'm always like, oh, that's me. I'm like walking in a room like, eh. okay. Anyways. <laughs> so, uh, so you need discipline. You need structure. Okay. So let's talk about green, yellow, yellow, green. Where are y'all at? You guys are very task oriented. So if you notice the color personality, one side is people, one side is very task. Okay. And this is huge for your business. So for instance, the people side, um, you guys are the ones that should be doing Facebook lives. You guys are the ones, excuse me, that should be sending voice memos. You guys are the ones that should be doing parties. You guys are the ones that should be, um, you know, uh, doing Zoom calls with people, right? Because you have really good energy and you're gonna have a level of confidence about you. I'm not saying you're perfect. Again, it's a sliding scale, um, but like this color combo, do not throw them in the deep end they will quit on you okay it would be a cold day before i got a yellow green to go do a facebook live they'd be like <coughs> okay and then they would never talk to you again and so uh this color combo i literally love um i mean i think me too rebecca like they still scare me to this day i mean it's because you don't want to be judged but like it's something we're good at even if it makes us uncomfortable um so very task oriented so this is a phenomenal color combo to get them understanding the system of host to post oh my gosh it's gonna be like this okay i know we have a lot of people who are yellow green green yellow that just kill it with discipline kill it with structure kill it with host to post because it's just very task oriented and behind the scenes and so um if you're not i mean all color combos should be doing host to post but just so hear my heart in that okay um but being very task oriented this color combo just kills it they're very much processors where a where a red blue like myself is going to insert foot in mouth we're gonna speak before we think, we're gonna overstretch, we're gonna, um, you know, uh, just make a fool of ourselves. These are gonna very introspect. They're gonna be processors and they're gonna, you know, process and chew and mull it over and create scenarios and they're gonna overthink. And so if you are, if, you, if you're leading one of these people who are maybe not as high functioning where they can articulate, and again, I do think a green yellow is better at articulating than a yellow green. Um, because again, green, yellow is totally different than a yellow green. Um, uh, I think that they will articulate. However, I do think like a yellow green tends to very much get in their head and over process. And so if that's, you're leading someone like that, you've got to know that about them. So you can't like create your own scenarios in your head as to why they're not answering you. If that makes sense, right? How many of you are the person, if someone doesn't answer, if someone doesn't match your energy or emotions you immediately think that you've done something wrong or that they're mad at you anybody because i know like i can get that way when i'm low functioning i've had to learn how to assume positive intent over the last few years like okay maybe they're busy or uh may like maybe i'm overthinking this right so like i said something the other day and i have not stopped processing it and i i just keep telling myself you're over, you know as a blue like i'm being a worry wart and i'm like you're just worrying about this like it's taking up space and that's not what it means but i'm like oh i'm like oh my god i probably sounded so dumb when i did that oh my god no one laughed oh my gosh i can't believe i said that wow they probably think i'm dumb <laughs> like so like these so blues can can do that as well so understand that but these ones um this color combo really over think so give them space to do that and i think that if you're ever um questioning if someone's in their head just ask them and i've really grown strong uh this year i love all of you that are yellows but i'm just unapologetic i'm like hey you're overthinking this and i'm just calling it like hey I, you're overthinking this like just answer or the blues right the worry warts you're overthinking it you know what to do trust your gut okay um but anyways uh, these really need help with being hands-on so if you are um leading a green yellow and they tell you they got it they might not got it okay i like to look at facts if people have it if if there's results in e-suite that means you got it but even then some of the highest producers still need help right and so don't don't just think that someone's got it when they tell you they've got it. But if you are a green yellow and you're in leadership, 
you know, Ruby and above, and you have a team underneath you, you might think, okay, I'm here team. Let me know if you need me. That's not leadership. You have to look at people as babies and you have to look at your newborns like they need help every single day. And so green yellows can be so focused on their tasks that they forget to lead and or they go the opposite of that. There's at least one green, yellow, yellow, green on here who cares too much about their team instead of their own enrollments because you're so busy leading your team, you're always available for them. You always wanna help them. You always wanna respond. However, you've gone, because you're not leading from the front, you've gone from leadership to management. And nobody wants a manager, okay? No, and I'm not saying this doesn't happen. Yes, you're gonna, there's moments where there's a rock star on your team that out enrolls you, okay? Uh, Megan Johnson and Jessica Eisner, uh, last month tied 24 enrollments, job well done, ladies. <laughs> I did not get 24 enrollments, but guess what? I don't feel bad about that because I'm always leading from the front. So you can have someone underneath you that's outperforming you. As long as you're always meeting your quota, you won't feel bad about it. But when you get to the point where you're not producing, but you're hands on with your team every day, you will develop imposter syndrome because you can't lead your team beyond where you're at. Um, and so just be mindful of that. Be hands on with your team. Let's keep moving forward. Where are my red, yellow personalities at? These are very result oriented. This is the hardest working color combo that there is out of all the color combos. Reds are always taking action for themselves. Yellows are always taking action for other people. So if a red um, doesn't have a personal goal, then they have a goal for other people. This color combo does not sit still very well. They are highly stubborn. Um, and so uh, this is the color combo that um, once they've got it, they've got it. They're probably not going to ask for help. Um, they're probably not going to respond to you. They're probably not going to show you any emotion. They tend to be, I always say they're a little heartless. I don't mean that where they lack emotion because as yellows are definitely sensitive, but they don't connect emotionally because they lack that blue. And so um, these are reds, uh, red, yellow, yellow, red color combo are the ones literally dying in a car accident with their arms severed off and they're going to make money. They're going to get something done. They're going to pick up groceries for their family. These are the ones that get really offended. If you are this color combo, you've probably worked at a job where you got offended that someone couldn't come in because they were... <laughs> Or you have someone in your team that's like, oh, I can't come to team zoom. I'm not feeling well, or my child is sick and you get really offended by it. Cause you're like, that's why it's a zoom. You can listen while you're laying in bed next to your kid, pop a headphone in. And I'm speaking candidly like that, not offensively, but this is what this color combo is thinking. And so they called me and said, if I could ask, if I could say this on the zoom, I'm just kidding. They didn't, but they're probably going to Venmo me some money later. Here's a five. Thanks for that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But this is what they're thinking. Like, if I can do it, you can do it. If I can push through, you can push through. Right. So they're um, a very uh, a hands on learner. They are very uh, I have found the pattern is very visually stimulated. So they want to zoom. They want to know because that yellow activates. Right. Well, what button do I push? How do I make this? And they're they're really not resourceful. This is um, this is going to sound really weird. But depending on the level of low functioning to high functioning, this color combo almost becomes bossy and wants you to do something for them, which sounds really opposite because they're stubborn and they don't want to ask for help. But uh, especially a red yellow. I love you guys. But sometimes they think so highly of themselves that they like have this expectation. OK, I need you to do this for me. They just start bossing people around. And um, I want you to do this for me. I want you to do this for me. And I'd be like, no, nah, you can learn. <laughs> you can go ask. You can go find. And so just just know that they're either really hands off or they can be really hands on. Um, but I think the biggest thing that you can do and you can serve them is to help them connect emotionally, help them. You know, these are the people literally. OK, they're like, I don't know how to write a, stat a status because they want to say I lost weight. Feels good. You should lose weight, too. They're like, that's I'm like, send me something. They're like. I lost weight, feels good, you should too. <laughs> They're like, that's my heart. That's as best as I can be. And so you really have to help them like develop like how to story tell, okay? Um, so let's talk about green, blues, blue, greens. This is a very tough combo. 
I say that very respectfully, um, but this color combo, and I'll get to that in a second. This color combo, one of the greatest strengths is they're very detail oriented. So they're a lot of fun. Um, they're very, you know, uh, very detailed. Uh, they're very hyper creative personality, which is really good. These are the talkers, believe it or not, you grains can talk someone's ear off because you like to let the whole world know how smart you are. Don't you be asking a green what time it is. They will mother truck and tell you how to make a watch. Okay. Like they'll tell you everything and so if you're this color combo you will shoot a fire hose at people you will not take a mother truck in breath and you will exhaust the people around you okay and so this is where like you need to stop trying to talk to people on your own and start using your leader or the scripts okay but this color combo Oh my gosh. Okay. You just, cause greens, you, you don't just want them to know the product. You want them to know the product, like where it's manufactured, how it comes in the bottle, what, what the temperature of the soil was like, what, 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 where the sun was when the, the ingredients got harvested. Like you want them to know everything because you're driven intellectually. I tell you right now, 95% of people don't even care it's at works till the box shows up on the front door. So you got to use your intellect in the right arena. Just like stubborn people have to use their stubbornness in the right way, you have to save your energy for the right thing. Because it takes a lot of energy to tell people how smart you are. <laughs> I love you, greens. It takes a lot. It takes a lot of energy, okay, to tell people how smart you are. Blues, y'all just, we get so excited. I'm so grateful that Facebook Messenger now has you can 1.5x and 2x voice memos because I literally want to come through the screen when you blues send me a four and a half minute voice memo, a seven minute voice memo. Like if you don't understand, I have over a thousand active distributors underneath me and you locking up my phone for seven minutes. I want to go to your doorstep and poop on your doorstep. I love you and I want to hear your story, but I don't need to know what shirt you're wearing, what time it was, how cold it was. You're yelling at your dog in the back. Oh, my dog, he just got, he just got neutered. So, you know how, you know how Fido is. Okay. I love you, but, and this is me. I'm calling, I'm, I'm the, the pot's calling the kettle black. Okay. This is 100% me. I'd be telling you, I got to set the scene, baby. Where my blues at? We're the storytellers. We're the communicators. Okay, I got to set the scene, Heffa. I need you to know seventeen details so you can get the story in my head or in your head, like it's in my head. Okay, you gotta be respectful. This is a business, and I love it. One of my distributors said that every uh, busy or uh, people who aren't busy don't respect busy people, and I was like, ding, ding, ding. That's it. Like, why do you want to zoom when it could be a voice memo? And why is it a voice memo when it could be bullet pointed? Like, help me help you help me, okay? And pop call the kettle black. I'll be telling you, I'll stop sending me voice memos. And then I'll be sending two minute voice memos. But a great thing that you can do when you are communicating, if it is your team, if I send you a two minute voice memo, I am gonna give you some bullet points, or I'm gonna say it's not important, it can wait. I'm gonna give you a, give me a heads up on what it is, okay? But you have to understand that you're gonna scare off a lot of people if this is your color combo. So be mindful of that. And then um, uh, the biggest thing with this color combo, I'm having a lot of fun. I gotta move a little faster. We still have a couple more slides. This color combo, you really struggle. And I say this in love, but I would not be your leader if I didn't say it. Um, I do think that this color combo needs to invest in counseling. I do think everybody on the planet needs to invest in counseling. I think that it will absolutely change your life. However, the reason I think it is because this is a very, um, I don't want to use the word tormented. I feel like that's a very deep word, but it's a very, the judgment that this color combo feels is so deep because as a green, whether you're blue, green or green, blue as a, as a green, your perfectionistic mindset, you consistently set this unrealistic bar that you have to hit. And then the moment you take one day off from that and you calm down, the blue activates and you think everybody else is judging you. So you're getting the judgment from you live in a world of condemnation a lot, if that makes sense and maybe shame. And that's just a really heavy for people to deal with. And again, I think any anyone can do that. But I know specifically this color combo. Um, I've helped a lot of people. Hey, let's make you some money. And because they were like, I absolutely need counseling. I feel like I'm going crazy on the inside. And um, again, that's any any everybody needs counseling. OK, I actively see a counselor. My husband does or oldest daughter does. We invest heavily into our mental health. But this color combo, there's something different about it where there's so much judgment on the inside whether it's personal judgment or internal or external judgment that can um be really damaging okay and so real quick let's go through this how do they feel accomplished let's kind of break down each color 
Reds, how do we feel accomplished? We like to win. It, we like to be the boss. We like to call the shots. We like to win. If we're not winning, it's not enough. And so we kind of have to realize that it's okay. Like progress is progress, even if we're not crossing the finish lines, but we feel accomplished when we're winning. A green feels accomplished when they check things off. When they can see tangible proof that there's progress, when you get that to-do list checked off, a green feels progress. A yellow feels progress when they're serving others and making a difference. When you did something for someone else, when you took care of something, that act of service, whatever it is, you feel accomplished. And a blue feels accomplished when they know they've created an experience, when they've made an impact in someone else's life, they feel accomplished. Um, how does each color like recognition? Let's talk about that. Us reds stroke our ego. We are a very external, uh, external um, recognition receiver. Um, uh, one of my best friends is a yellow and she will send me the most beautiful text messages that are very, her words are perfect. They're crafted. They stroke my ego, but I literally am like, why couldn't you have posted that on social media? If you want, if you want to stroke my ego, you're not going to do it to my face. I want you to do it in front of the room. I want you to tell the room how powerful I am. I want you to tell the room how enough I am. I want you to tell the room how much of a winner I am. Okay, where are my reds at? Okay, and so that's that's how we receive. That's how we like recognition. What about my greens? They like their intellect stroked. Tell them how smart they are. And this is a very external receiver as well. Tell the room how smart they are. Tell the room how their idea worked. Tell the room how their system worked, okay? Don't tell them to their face how smart they are. They already know. I already know I'm a winner. I don't need you to fill my cup. But you can tell this whole the whole world. You could tag me on Facebook. You tag me right now on Instagram and say, how oh, this is a cool training. I'll repost it. That fills my cup up. I'm like, ah, you love me. But you can message me and tell me that I changed your life and I appreciate it, but it don't greens are the same way. Greens, you you tell the world how smart they are and how it was their idea that was the winning idea and you do it in front of the room because they already know that they're smart. They already know they're right, but you tell the room they're right. You just lit them up yellows how much their action helped you yellows are very uh one on one very personable where a, a red likes big recognition a green likes big recognition a yellow and blue are a little bit more close to the chest and i'm explain why yellows don't like to make a big deal about stuff they kind of don't like that attention they prefer behind the scenes and again i'm not saying there everybody likes public public recognition okay everybody likes that okay everyone wants to know that they have value so take it with a grain of salt what i'm saying but yellows really like to know that what they did made a difference that their action, man, when you took on this task for me, wow, that allowed me to do what I could only do. Thank you so much. You made a difference. Like, whoo, you just gonna light a yellow up, okay? And uh, so that's a really big deal. Blues, let them know how you made them feel. Blues were very driven by impact. So for instance, uh, and the reason that I say that blues are a little bit more face-to-face and again, it's not that blues are the life of the party. They like to be loud sometimes because blues don't like to be judged. Um, for me, I can walk into a room and if you're a blue and you feel this exact way, drop a yes in the chat. I can walk in a room and make a fool of myself and not be embarrassed. But if you catch me off guard to give me recognition, you will publicly humiliate me. It's a very fine line with my blue and my red on what I love and what I don't. If I know I'm going to be honored, that is totally different. If you blindside me, there's a chance that as a blue, I'm going to feel embarrassed, especially if you want me to talk and I'm not prepared. Oh, my! like I'm going to say something dumb, like my brain goes dead. OK, like I can't think. And so I don't like to be caught off guard. But blues, we really do like an impact. And um, when I speak on stage, and then someone comes up to me and said, oh my God, you made me feel like you were talking just to me, or you made me feel like I could do this, um, or because of your story, I paid off debt too. Oh, y'all, that just fills my little love tank. It feels my impact. It feels like, yes, I'm making a difference in the world and my story matters. And so blues love to know um, how they made you feel. So that's a little bit about color combos. Hopefully you guys learned something just to recap. Uh, leading yourself helps you lead other people. Make sure you know how to lead yourself. Um, it's better to be too much than too little.
you know, when I, I wasn't doing enough when I first started. And then whenever I learned about myself, I went to the opposite end of the spectrum where I kind of became a jerk. And that's sometimes how you learn. I'm not proud of it, but you'll eventually balance out and find that happy medium and growth is never ending. But I would always rather err on the side of being too much than not enough. Um, and uh, you not leading yourself hurts your team. So just remember that when you're not trying to grow and be the best version of yourself and in pursuit of a better you, um, you really are are hurting your team and uh so your growth absolutely matters and you have more in you than you realize